Hello YouTubers, my name is X-Factor. Welcome to a Battlefield 4 quick guide revolving around the main battle tank, HE Shell, aka High Explosives. You get this pretty early in the unlock tree at 25,000 points, and there's three total primary shells that you can equip for your main battle tank. Armor Piercing, which comes stock, HE Shell, then the last one is the Sabat Shell. We're going to showcase some footage in-game talking about the pros and the cons, because this thing can hit like a truck. But there are some drawbacks. Over the course of this footage, pay attention to the drop of the shell and the much reduced speed of travel. That's a pretty negative combination, but it's something you can get used to. And right now I'm doing the tango with an attack chopper. And I'm hoping that I can stay alive long enough to catch him out of position to give him at least one pot shot. And that was the first question I had. The armor piercing and sabat shells do not one shot little birds and attack choppers at full health. But the HE shell will. I just knocked this guy's health down a little bit, so no matter what shell I would have had on this shot, it would have killed him. But I've got a private server. I've done a ton of testing, pulling up next to empty little birds and attack choppers and one shying them each time. So here's an example of fine net code for Battlefield 4 as I'm going to take another pot shot at a helicopter. And down he goes, uh, no kill confirmation or anything else. But that's the next thing about the HE shell that I want to talk about, which is going against an LAV. Max damage on the front, side, and rear is 55. And again, it's all about the angles. If you hit it straight in, it maxes out at 55. You can two-shot them from the front, the side, or the rear. If you compare that to the Sabat or AP shell, which do 42 max damage front, side, and rear, you go from a two-shot situation to a three-shot. Now, how about transport shoppers? Well, number one, I've hit several of them with the HE shell. It violently flips them. And there's some disparity in damage. I typically hit for at least 75 in the transport chopper, but can be up to 81. And here's another attack chopper with the HE shell. And that's the nice thing when you hit the attack choppers and little birds. There is no time to bail. They're hit and they're dead. So if you hit them with the Sabat or the AP from that range, it's going to go disable and they're going to be up in the air spinning around. It gives them plenty of time to bail. So you get a vehicle kill and maybe a couple other points and rarely the double kill. So what about tanks? When we're coming up on tanks and we're talking about front damage and rear damage and side damage. Well, the max damage for the side of the tank as I shoot this LAV, I'm going to kind of two-shot this guy, is 43 max on the side, and it's a critical immobilization, meaning they can't move. They can't rotate the base of the tank. They can't do anything. Front of the tank, 39 max damage. Rear, 67. So it's always a two-shot to the rear because the normal AP and Sabat do 55, but it gives you more room for leeway. If you're looking for a shell to bring the pain on armor, this is probably it, and it's pretty darn good against air if you can get used to it. If you guys enjoyed this quick guide, let me know down below and give it the old thumbs up. See ya.